everybody, this is Sean from Auburn Reptile Company. Hey, today we're going to build a rain chamber for an Exoterra 18 by 18 by 24. So what we're going to do is kind of walk through the steps. I'm using one of their kits here to do this. And what we're going to need, let me get my list here, is we're going to need half inch PVC, one half inch hose barb uh, with a threaded on one side, five half inch elbows, one half inch slip the thread elbow, three half inch tees, one half inch cross, and then what I'm using uh, to connect everything to the pump is a half inch uh, vinyl tubing, black tubing. So <clears throat> we're going to get started on this. And you know, I already read, I already did this, and so everything's pretty much pre-done. So I'm just going to explain to you, you know, what I've done. So you know, here I've got the tank, and I've cleaned it out, and so I'm going to start, you know, just kind of putting everything in. So uh, I'll show you the top of this thing in, in just a second here. Okay, everybody, what we have here is the the top piece. Uh, and what I've done is I've taken, as you can see, my elbows um, and, and my tees and my crossfit, and I've pieced all my little pieces together. And so, you know, of course, the first thing you're going to do is, uh, you know, cut your pieces. So what I did was, you know, I cut everything to size, and, and the way I do it might be a little different than, than what others do it, as I don't really tend to measure. I tend to fit everything as it goes. So, you know, what I did was I took this piece right here, and hooked it to this piece, cut this piece to fit, of course, to here, put this on, cut this to here, and now, of course, this is the, the back uh, left-hand corner of the, uh, the cage, and so forth. And so I just went around, and I just kind of, that's what I did, is pieced it in to make this nice little square here. So after that, what I did was I flipped it all over, and I drilled holes into all of the PVC, not the fittings, but just the PVC, so that, of course, the rain can drop out and, you know, make complete the rain chamber. Okay, next what I've done is I take a uh, elbow, and this is my threaded elbow, so I've got slip right here on this side, thread it on this side, and then I've taken the um, hose barb, which has a thread, and I screwed it in here. Just cut a small piece of my vinyl tubing off, and this is going to go to the power head. So I've hooked that all together. This is a pre-cut piece. This goes all the way to make sure that it hits, you know, pretty much uh, when everything's hooked up, it goes right to the top of the screen. So I've taken that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to hook it into my top portion and you can move this around so that you know your power heads of course gonna lay down and so when we flip this over it's gonna look something like this in the cage okay and of course we'll get that we'll get that in there for you to see here okay everybody now what I've done here <coughs> is I've connected my power head now I'm using an exoterra 350 power head and what this is going to do I hooked it into the vinyl tubing here which is going to the uh, the uh, oh whatever that's called the outlet you know of course I want to call everything thingamajig but anyway so I've got this all hooked up and I've got the cord in the background because now one thing we don't want to forget is when we put the background we want to hide the cord now you can hide your tubing if you choose to I'm not going to I just want to hide my cords so this is pretty much, here's kind of an aerial view right here. I'm, uh, you know, holding it right now because it's not secure, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. That's real simple. Basically, we twist tie it to the top just to make sure. Uh, you know, you hear the size in the background. That's my daughter because she is waiting to watch a movie back there, but I wanted to, you know, have it a little quieter. So I thank her for her patience. Uh, okay, so next... Now I'm adding a few more things to this, and so I'm going to get those in the cage before I put my background in, so give me one second here. Okay, so um, as you can see, I got the background in, and I'm actually adding a little waterfall thing, and it's a, uh, it used to be called the Old Viquarium by Tetrafauna. I like it, it's, an, it's a new version, uh, the old one used to be like real 
ugly. It was plastic. And this one's really cool because it's a resin. I actually just pulled it out of the box and I'm like, hey, that's, you know, that might look kind of neat in there. So, so we've got a little waterfall that I'll be working on in this as well. And then I've got the rain chamber up here. And as you can see, it's being held up by the screen right here uh, just to make it a little bit more rigid. And uh, just real simple, you could do one on the other side. I haven't got to that yet. That'll just give it a little bit more added strength. Uh, it's hooked up. The plugs, you know, go up from behind. So those are, those are good. And we'll hook those all in after we get it all completed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish putting the waterfall together. And then I'm going to add, um, you know, some hydro balls or bio balls, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we're going to see if we can't build some of this land up. So, you know, we're getting there. This thing's going pretty, pretty quick. Of course, you know, like I said, I already did uh, did a lot of the work for you guys before I started this video. So uh, I will get going on this waterfall here. Well, we kind of jumped way ahead. I got pretty busy, and then I just started to finish it. But uh, basically what I did here is I've got some, uh, you know, terrarium moss from... Uh, Zoomit, and then I've got the Tetrafauna Vicarium or Vivarium. And I put some miscellaneous wood, and I've got some moss, and you can use, you know, the Exoterra or the Zilla brand, and that works really good, and that kind of hides all your, your piping. And I've got miscellaneous Exo Exoterra uh, vinage in here, some Mopani wood from uh, uh, Zoomit. And so, you know, this is basically what it's going to look like right there. So let's. Uh, Let's fire this bad boy up and see uh, see how it's doing. And there we go. We have a nice rain chamber. Lots of moving water in there. Can't wait to put some tree frogs in there. And, you know, listen to them bark. And, uh, you never know. It's kind of a small space, so I'm not really expecting any any eggs or babies or anything like that. But if we do, you know, I'll tear it apart and redo it. That's that's fine. But, uh, I think that's half the fun, right? So as you can see, I'll get up there. There's uh, all my tubing and everything, and that's dripping real real nice. I have a couple, you know, a couple full streams which I'm not too happy about, but uh, you know I can always add some vines in there to break it up a little bit if I wanted to. But you know, really what we're going for is the sound. So, anyways, there we go, and uh, you know, thanks for stopping by.